Hello, I'm David Brown with Berkeley Nucleonics. And today, we're showing you our latest push card for the SAM isotope identifier. We've added new functionality in the SAM to allow fast screening of large areas of land. This is for cleanup and remediation. This is in response to the uh, soil and contamination issues that are seen uh, in Asia and in the U.S. People that are uh, closing down uh, military bases or test facilities, they all have a need for fast data logging. And what we do with the SAM is we provide isotope specific data logging. So you can uh, identify your isotopes at the same time as you're doing your data logging. The SAM hand cart offers a convenient mounting system for the controller, uh, your GPS unit, and your detector. Of course, we offer larger 3x3 three three or 4x4x16 four by four by detectors as well for very high sensitivity. And we do one second background subtraction, which allows us to see very, very low amounts of radiation and move at a relatively fast speed. So what we're doing now is we're taking one sample, one second time slices of using the SAM. I'm going to just take survey an area here. So here you hear as the as we get closer to sources. We see that we're actually identifying a source here. And what we have is the latitude and longitude of this location. And the count rate now is getting up higher to 400 counts per second. If we run an analysis, which can be set on automatic as well, based on sigma, we'll see that the peaks will just grow. And as the peaks are growing, I don't know if you want me to, sh there we go. You see, as the peaks are growing, they're being color coded. And now it's identified the source as a uh, industrial source, blue. And there's our color coding system takes about five to ten seconds. The actual analysis takes 30 seconds and after 30 seconds we will receive a report and that will include the GPS location, the isotope specific counts, uh, the classification, in this case industrial, a confidence, in this case 99 percent, the uh, Latin longitudinal information, count rates, uh, if there's a neutron detector we'll have a neutron count rate and then a little more analytical information such as the energy lines, the dose rate for each energy line, and uh, instrumentation setup. At the end of the project, we will have a great set of data, and the data will include a GPS fix, a timestamp, isotope by isotope count rates, and a total count rate. So this is the new hand card for the 940. It accommodates all 940s, all detector types. Uh, you can use, of course, your own GPS system or you can use one of our GPS systems. We have uh, a very nice trimble which goes down to uh, three feet of spatial resolution. And uh, in this case, we're using a Garmin, which is approximately 20 feet of spatial resolution. Anyway, this is the hand cart. Give us a call. We're happy to address any custom requirements you have.